What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Virgo, and you enjoy my content, you can uh, smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. Just saying. This is um, how do they feel about you for the sign of Virgo. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. If one has free will, only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. You really are. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. If you'd like a personal reading, it's $100 for 15 minutes. Um, I do it for Google Duo. You have to text me. My number's in the description box below to get a, um, to schedule an appointment for a reading if you are interested. Spirit messages you have, Sun Virgo. Um, every single donation, every like, subscribe, and share, they all really help. Single mom and two kids, so I really appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I just want to let everybody know. Spirit messages you have, Sun Virgo. Now, this is how, how they feel about you for November of 2021. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. It's a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. I'm a better person because of you. You've really changed me. I thought about taking a trip with you. Even though we're not together, I just can't see myself letting you go reverse. You will hear from me soon reverse. The golden mirror upright, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. This person takes the good memories and moves on with them. They know y'all y'all will never be together again. Oh, that's a good one, Virgo. I heard this person takes the good memories and moves on with them. They know um, they know y'all will never be together again. So who this is for? I think you. I think you were either sexually connected to them in the past, or romantically connected to them. Either you were a girlfriend, boyfriend, um, live-in situation, fiance, or spouse, how that resonates. But you were, you were, um, I don't think it was sexual. I think it was heart chakra. I think it was romantic, romantic, whether it was a situationship, a third party, or what have you. I think it was romantic, absolutely. It was definitely romantic a long time ago. Okay, I heard it was definitely romantic a long time ago. So it was definitely, if this resonates for you, it was definitely definitely romantic a long time ago. But they have moved on and they've healed from it. They know y'all will never be together ever again, romantically or sexually or what have you, in that manner ever again. So they just take the good memories and they move on in life, which is healing. That's healing work this person has done. If this resonates with you, that's good. That's good because, you know, you don't want them stalking you. You don't want them, um, you know, telling their current partner going on and on about you of the past and then your partner gets so jealous they start stalking you you don't want that crap so it sounds like they have done the healing work and they really have moved on and um they just take the good memories of you and move on and move forward in life in a positive direction which is true healing work so that's good i'm a better person because of you of you you've really changed me great memories there and this is how this person wants to keep it. Okay. I heard great memories there. This is how this person wants to keep it. So they have great memories of you in the past, but they want to keep it that way. Um, because they do have such positive memories of you in the past. They want to keep it that way. And they want to just keep moving forward in life. And let you have good memories. Hopefully you have good memories of them too. They have good memories of you. And everybody moves forward. I thought about taking a trip with you. This person has always wanted to take a trip with you. Know this. But they know, know it will not happen. 
Okay, I heard this person has always wanted to take a trip with you, but they know it will not happen. So I think in the past when y'all were together in some kind of romantic scale or however that was, um, I think they fantasized about taking a trip with you. Now, for some, they could have actually told you verbally that they wanted to. And for some, they could have just thought about it in their head. Um, but I do think they fantasized it about, about it whenever they were actually romantically with you. Now, whether, whether they told you or not, you have to plug that in your life how it resonates. Even though we're not together, I just can't see myself letting you go. But it's reversed. I heard that they basically take the memories of the past and they move forward with them in positive manner. So they know they have let you go energetically. For some, I feel for some, you might still communicate with them. For some, you might not. But they have let you go romantically. They have let the heartstrings detach. Um, and they have moved on. You will hear from me soon reversed. So um, I don't think you communicate with them for some. For some, you might still communicate with them, but for some, I feel you don't. Um, and I think whoever that doesn't communicate with you, I think they do it for strategic reasons. So they can take the positive memories and move forward. So there is no negativity there. That's exactly what I feel for some. But you plug it in how it resonates. The golden mirror upright, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. You thought this person was a narcissist, but they're really not, and you're realizing this now. Oh, my God. I heard you thought this person was a narcissist, but um, you're realizing now they're not. So, I think in the past, you thought they were a narcissist in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, why, why ever you thought they were a narcissist, you have to plug that in your life how it fits. But I heard you're realizing now they're not. So, um I think you're seeing something in the 3D or on social media, or you're seeing something or hearing something or something. Something is changing your perspective um, now, and you're not, you don't think they're a narcissist now, or you're about to see something to make you think they're not, to let them know, let you know they're not a narcissist, basically. Um, however, that resonates, but you did once think they were. Um, however, that resonates, but I heard, you know, now they're not. So I feel for a lot of you guys, you've already seen the evidence. You've already seen the proof in the pudding and you know they're not. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. This person has always been a good friend to you. And that's how they've wanted to keep it. Some are getting wake-up calls now and realizing this. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So um, some of you guys, um, this person always just wanted to be a friend. So they were romantic with you. I, for some, I feel it was a long time ago. For some, it could have been five years ago. For some, five months ago. But they cut the heartstrings off when the romance ended, basically, for their protection, for their healing. And for your protection, your healing. But I heard they've always been a good friend, friend to you since. So they have not been ugly to you. They have not been rude to you. They have been nothing but a friend to you. And you know it. You know it now. I feel for some in the past, maybe you had some resentment or some, I think you had some resentment in the past because maybe for some, I felt you wanted to get back with them. Um, and then, but they were keeping it so friendly with you. You didn't know how to do it is what I feel for some. Um, but I heard they have always been a good friend to you. So they've always conversed if you've conversed with them. I'm sure if you saw them out in public, they'd say hi. You know, they're not giving you the cold shoulder. They're not being a narcissist and just turning their back. Um, I'm sure they speak to you um, when you speak to them. You know, I mean, you're not, you know, if you see somebody in public, you're not just going to run out and be like, hey, I mean, that's creepy. That's creepy. But if somebody says, hey, remember me from five years ago? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, I mean, then that's appropriate. But going, oh my God, oh my God, hey, 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 remember me, remember me? I mean, that that's that's freaking creepy, just saying. That's real creepy. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. This person found it really hard to let go of you after the romantic connection was over. They did stalk your social media for a little while. But they stopped it. Know this. 
after a couple months. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So um, after the romantic connection, whoever this plugs in with, after the romantic connection ended, whether it was five months ago, five years ago, or 50 years ago, however it plugs in your life, I heard they basically um, stalk um, social media, stalk your um, social media. I heard for a couple months, um, but it's because it, it was hard for them to let go. So they missed you. I feel they missed you. Now, uh, for some, I hope that it wasn't stalkery conversations. I don't feel from the messages that it was. I don't feel it was stalkery conversations. I feel it was just Facebook, um, not Facebook. For some, it could have been Facebook. I do Facebook a lot. That's why I said Facebook. Um, for some, it could be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, parlay, whatever. Some kind of social media stalking. I heard for a couple months. So they did it for a couple months, but I feel it's because they missed you so bad. Um, they were in the process of healing themselves and letting go, but they did eventually cut the strings and they did let it go. Um, I think that was their form of healing. Um, missing you without telling you kind of energy is what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. All right, you guys, this is a good one. All right, hope this helped. If you think anyone else can benefit from the messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys, I'm say.